Hey everybody, my name is Tim Riley. I'm the owner and chief engineer at RPG Keys. RPG Keys is a company that tailors its uh, product line to photographers. We basically spend all of our days trying to make the lives of professional and amateur photographers a little bit better. And by that I mean specifically in the photo editing department. Um, we don't make photo editing software, we just make photo editing software sometimes a little better. So. Um, in the last, historically speaking, we have catered to uh, Lightroom and Photoshop, kind of the the uh, you know the marquee products in the industry. But recently, we've been getting a lot of phone calls from people asking us if we'd consider making a keyboard for Capture One. Um, and so I went ahead and downloaded the free trial of Capture One, like anybody can do, and it's pretty good. I'm really actually enjoying the image quality that comes out of Capture One, and I can see why it is that people are gravitating towards this product over some of its competitors. Um, I wanted to show you what we've done. We've actually made a keyboard specific to Capture One. So uh, the keyboard looks like this. It's, um, it's a wired keyboard, it has 22 keys on it. Um, and you can program three things to each of the keys. Now the keys come blank um, or they come with text on them that you can have us, we can actually make you a one-off custom made keyboard specific to your workflow. So this is somebody's workflow actually for Lightroom, but I wanted to show you this photo, um, you know, just to give you an idea of what's possible. Uh, you can see on the top, this key right here above option two, we've got exposure up, exposure down, and their favorite black and white preset. Um, and so you, if you want exposure up, you hit that key. If you want exposure down, you hold down with your thumb the option two key and then hit that key. Or if you want that person's black and white preset, you're gonna hold down the, um, the option three and then you're gonna hit that button. So the next five minutes are going to be a um, kind of unpolished um, video and showing you what it is that we've done and how you can use your RPG key in Capture One. So here we go. Um, the, the biggest thing was for us was creating shortcuts for the sliders that are most commonly used. So I wanted a photographer to be able to say, I want to move the exposure slider even if I can't see it. So let me just show you how hard it is to program the RPG key. So here we are in the RPG software. We've selected um, Capture One from the list of supported applications. And we're gonna just search for the word. We're gonna pick a key. I'm gonna work on this key 216. And I'm gonna type the word exposure. Now what you're gonna see is um, about 100, 100 macros with the word exposure in them. And that is because there is the exposure tab um, or the exposure section in Capture One. You've got right here, if we go to Capture One, we hover over this, uh, we're gonna see it says exposure. So the macros in RPG key say exposure, this is the first part, tells you which tab you're on. Then it's gonna say exposure again, because um, it's the exposure triangle, and then it's gonna say the exposure slider. So let's take a look here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna look for the word, oop, we're gonna look for the word ex exposure, and I'm just gonna do exposure twice. And here it is, we've got 20 exposure up and 20 exposure down macros. So if we wanna put exposure up 005 on this key and then come back here and do on this key as well, do exposure down, we've now got a button on the RPG key that does exposure up and exposure down. And you can see that in the lower left-hand corner of the RPG software. So if I'm working on an image um, and I want to add exposure to the photograph, I hit the button on the RPG key and it moves the slider for me no matter where my mouse is. You'll see my mouse is on the right hand side. Interestingly enough, I can also bring it down. Now if that, um, if the exposure slider is not visible, it will make it visible for you. So if we go to hit exposure right now, it doesn't find it and so it's gonna make it visible and then it's going to move the slider for you. Similarly, if you're in a different tab, let's say you're on um, the color tab and you hit the button, it's gonna take you to the exposure tab, open the exposure triangle here, and move the slider for you. So we've made uh, about 700 custom macros. Um, we've made 20 down and 20 up um, macros for most of the, for the vast majority of the sliders. So conversely, let's just do exposure up. Instead of five, we'll do um, two, and you can just get a better sense for it here. So we're gonna go up to edit, and we are going to reset. I'm new at this, forgive me, reset. And now I'm gonna just pick a different photo and hit that button. And so now it goes up by 0.2.
And that's the case for like the temperature slider, the contrast slider, the brightness slider, and, the, and really the most of the sliders that, that us photographers are gonna use here in Capture One. Additionally, um, we've made macros for all of the menus. So if you're in Capture One and you're constantly wanting to do multiple view, and, there's no, and if, there, if there doesn't happen to be a shortcut for that, we've got a macro for it in RPG key. And that's true for every single menu item, okay? Uh, so let's go in here to RPG keys and let's search for the, we'll pick a different button, go to RPG functions, and we're going to search for the word multiple. And there it is, um, view multiple view. Um, I don't actually know what that does, um, but it would presumably do whatever multiple view does. So let's have a look here. View modes, multiple view, there you go. And, it's, and it selected it. Um, if you have created uh, styles, we have something for you. So I don't have any Capture One styles at the moment, but if you've created a whole bunch of them and you, and you need to be able to get to them really quickly, um, we've created a function that actually in the RPG software will go and find them for you. So in RPG keys, we're gonna go to the function section here. We're gonna go down to menu actions. And if you hit scan, the RPG key is going to then rescan all of the menus in Capture One and create a macro to every single menu location, including any, by the way, that are invisible. A lot of uh, software developers will make menu items that are invisible, and the RPG key can find them and make shortcuts to them. So we're going to run this just for this demo here and just see what happens. All right. There it is. So there are, um, again, kind of a more fluid way of triggering any of your menu items um, that, that, you know, that may change as you use the software. Um, so it gives you some ideas. Um, this is new for us. We have no idea what level of interest the Capture One community is going to have in this product. We do offer the product as a free demo. So anybody who would like to experiment with the RPG key, um, we will send you an RPG key specific for Capture One for 60 days to evaluate. Um, and to help us make it better. So if you are a um, diehard Capture One user and you want to help us make the RPG application for Capture One better, um, we encourage you to sign up. We'll mail you a keyboard um, and then give us feedback so that we can make, make a set of macros and a set of software that's going to be the most useful for you and your workflow. Um, until this point, we have not been Capture One users and so really we're gonna rely on the people who sign up to try the product um, to let us know what it is that would be um, the most useful in their workflow. So I'm Tim Riley, I'm, uh, I'm from Portland, Maine, and um, I'm a photographer, and I'm really looking forward to hearing what the Capture One community has to say about an RPG key that controls your sliders and presumably, potentially, any and all of the uh, Capture One user interface. All the best and uh, happy holidays, everybody.